we had the uh, good opportunity to train with some BLM uh, firefighting folks here from Fort Wainwright. This is the first uh, chance we actually got to go out and uh, train fighting a simulated fire with the, uh, with the BLM folks. So we did a couple of coordination meetings uh, on the ground, basically uh, determining you know, airspace, who's in charge. Uh, we got the MOUs, letters of agreement between the Army and uh, BLM so that uh, we can work hand in hand with one another on, a, on an active fire here in Alaska. Water bucket operations here in Alaska is a kind of a unique animal because most of the year some of these water sources are frozen. So we got to wait for the, uh, the spring thaw, basically the breakup, to get, be able to dip the, the buckets in the water. So we've gone out several times this year just to uh, refresh our, our crews, both the pilots and the crew chiefs in the back, with the ability to be able to be proficient in water bucket operations. So it's the first time we went out and worked with other controllers hand in hand with uh, other agencies this fire season, I will be the only uh, lift aircraft here in Alaska. We have a crew on standby every day of the week from here till uh, to the end of the fire season, so usually that's uh, mid-September, early October. But we'll have a fire crew on standby, so in, uh, one aircraft at least a day. We'll have a bucket in the back uh, ready to respond to any fire, and we're on uh, recall. Depending upon the fire season, either way from a four-hour to a one-hour recall here at the airfield so that we're able to respond to any need that the uh, range control or BLM might need with assistance.